just packed up from the morning hunt. I didn't see no deer. My buddy didn't see no deer. We're on a quota hunt. So I'm going to pack all my stuff up, which I did. I'm going to walk to him through this field here. See if we can jump one up to him. Um, or maybe I'll get a shot at one. And we're going to get all of our stuff and we're going to head out to a different spot this afternoon. Alright, we're walking back out now. We had a change of plans because gates are locked that shouldn't be locked. A lot of cars where I usually would go. So we're in an area now that has no cars and it's hot. And we're going to try something new. Walking in from a different way. Bow hunting in sunny South Florida. I think it's 95 degrees and we're dying. Looks like I might be killing some yotes. Well, this morning's hunt was a bust. We, got, we didn't see any deer, we just heard a bunch of coyotes and pigs. So my buddy Justin left and I had a plan to ride my bike to a, a really far away area in the back. And I just pulled up to the parking spot closest to where I wanna go and it looks like I'm not the only one with the same idea. I see four trucks and a bunch of them have bikes just like I'm trying to do and they look like they have electric bikes there is a bunch of people here I just ran into a guy across the street that's a fellow or a, a YouTube subscriber to me so that's pretty cool somebody recognized me I'm famous not really but it was cool now I don't know what I'm gonna do because everybody's got the same idea as I do looks like looks like they're probably all going to where I was trying to go so I don't know if I'm gonna change this up or Let's call it here. That's my plan to go out to that hill. 
it's two miles away. It's a four mile trip. I'm gonna try to ride my bike out there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to because this grass is tall. Hopefully I jump a deer up when I'm doing it, I get a shot. Four miles, two miles there, two back. Just wanna check it out. I know of some legends out there, so I wanna see if I can get to it. Get it to my spot, this is what I'm talking about. Freaking two bikes, I'm like eight miles back. I know I didn't get good footage of that, but that was a, a nice six pointer and I was going to shoot him riding my bike down this trail and I, I found him probably 45 yards out and I squatted down, took my arrows off and I got my grunt tube and I grunted at him three times and he came in 30 yards but he was facing me like he wouldn't turn broadside. He spotted me and locked up on me, so I couldn't. I couldn't. I wasn't going to take that shot. I'm, I'm probably three and a half miles in this place. I want to make sure I kill it. We had a stare off for two minutes, and then he bolted. So I told myself eight points are better, but that was a nice six. I know the footage was blurry. I was trying to zoom in and shaking, but man, that was a cool experience. That was fun. See if I can find another one. Well, that's it for this quota hunt. I lost count of how many deer I seen tonight. Bunch of cows here. Get out of road. So I lost count. I lost count of how many deer I seen tonight. I seen two nice shooter bucks. The one I got a little clip of right before it ran off or we had a stare down. Oh, I've got a calf. Don't ram my truck. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, I seen two nice shooter bucks that I tried to stalk up on but the second buck that I was stalking up on I didn't know he was with like six does so the does busted me and then he busted out of there too and um then I was going to a, a little like funnel area and there was a doe standing there and I tried to creep into a spot where they have to come through I don't know if she smelled me or seen me, but she ran out of there. And the same time, a pig ran by, too. I just couldn't film anything. It was Everything was happening so quick. And then there was two or three deer behind me on this big hill, standing there. And you could see them in the skyline. It was pretty cool. A lot of deer, but I ain't kill anything. Heard a lot of coyotes and seen a lot of pigs and heard pigs. And On the last day and the last afternoon, I had some bucks. That six-pointer, I was, I was going to shoot them. He was, he was 35 yards and facing me. I'm just gonna do it. He, 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 I wanted him to turn broadside and look back at me or something, but as soon as he turned, he ran. So, but it was cool, because I grunted him back in. He was walking away, and I dropped my bike real quick and got my grunt call, grunted at him, and he came back. But then he stared me down for two minutes at full draw. All right, second week of my quota hunt out here. Um, today we're doing a little different method of hunting. We have our bikes. Um, my dad's got a disability permit, so he has a crossbow. And, uh, cause he's got bad elbows and knees. And I got my bow. And we're gonna ride the roads again. It's my new method of hunting. Uh, yes, last week I found out about electric bikes, so I'm working on that right now. Trying to see if I can get one. Uh, cause those things are gonna be game changers. I didn't know you are allowed to use them in management areas. But trying a new area from last week that I found a lot of deer and we're gonna ride the roads all day. It's a full moon. We'll see what we get.
they're definitely moving I just seen a big buck out there uh, I'd say 250 yards away Well, I ran into a snag. Didn't make it too far past where we seen that last buck and we were trying to call him in. I, somehow I got too much grass in this derailer on my bike or whatever you call this thing and it bent. This part's hitting the spokes and it rips it in there. And this gear is plastic so it's broken. It's cracked. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this. It's only a mile and a half walk back to the truck but... I hope I can fix it because I got another four miles that I want to hunt. So far we've just seen one buck real early in the morning. My bike's been broke down while here on and off. I got to keep pulling grass out of it and gears broke but I'm keeping going. Maybe at lunchtime, I'll go out and get a new uh, chain guide. Some pig root in here. Well, I just hit the five mile mark. I didn't see any deer yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go the, keep going. Maybe a half mile, then I'm gonna come back and head back to the truck. Uh, it's almost 11:30 now. I got some storms coming in, but I think they're passing me some bar. Right. Well, I'm just cruising down the road. Well, it's six forty. Me and my dad just got done eating lunch and driving around. The rest of the afternoon, evening, we've seen a lot of deer on the roads and they're definitely moving, but it's been raining pretty hard, so the quota hunt's pretty much a bust. I'm hoping this rain clears up. I got probably half an hour and I seen it. That buck I seen this morning, I want to get back up there, even though my bike's broke. But we just seen some little bucks fighting in the field and I think like 15 does. So the deer are definitely moving. Game warden stopped us and checked us, and we we're all good, of course. But I haven't killed a deer. I'm pretty bummed with myself earlier with that. I had a nice buck right next to me at 20 yards in the fence, in the, on the fence line. I'm riding my bike. By the time I put my bike down, I I was riding my bike, looked over, and I'm so exhausted. I just I rode 10 miles. So exhausted, I couldn't think right. I look over and I see black and it moving. I'm like, oh, there's a pig. And I was like, just kept going. I don't know why. I'm like, I look back. I'm like, oh, shit, that's a buck. 
All I seen was a rack. And that thing, he was a good eight, maybe more. I, and he had all kinds of stuff going on. So he might have had kickers and stuff. It was a big, big buck. And I dropped my bike. And I knocked an arrow. I started to turn my GoPro on. And he was behind bushes. But he was walking. Like he was on a mission. And I was walking with him trying to keep up. And he's only 20 yards away. And he got behind this bush. And then after the bush was a little opening, and I was standing at the opening, waiting for him to continue on, and he never did. So I was pretty bummed. Um, I realized that my wind is pushing right at him. So he didn't smell me at first because I'm on my bike, and I moved up on him, I guess, pretty quick going with him. And then as soon as I got next to him, the wind pushing at him, he had to smell me within the three or four seconds that I was had seen him. And... He d disappeared. Then I looked to my left. On the road, I watched two does walk out, walk across the road, eating, and then they go back. And then I continued to walk up to where the does were to see maybe he went around. But he caught my wind. He was gone. So when I got where the does were, they, she popped out right next to me. So I didn't get him. I didn't, I'm not shooting a doe. I could have killed the does, but... I don't want a doe. I want to get one of these nice bucks out here. So, it sucks I only got one day today. I think the rain's settling down now. And I probably got half an hour. I'm going to try to run up here with my bike and see if I can see one or get one. I'd love to get one. <laughs> the game warden is back. He just pulled up next to my truck. I don't know why. I already talked to him. So, I'm going to go up here and turn around and go back and see what the hell I did wrong. Just jumped up two deer and there's a pig. Probably 80 yards away and this thing's huge. It's a big pig. Two deer. I didn't even see him going blind. Time to go back see what the warden wants. Damn pigs. Well, the warden was cool. It was the same guy that checked me earlier. He didn't know that he already talked to me, so we just bullshit a little bit and he let me go. And he was checking all the other guys that were coming out. But I seen two does and two pigs and in a half an hour after the rain, so that place is freaking awesome back there. I love this place, but I'm definitely looking to get an e-bike, man. These electric bikes nowadays that people are hunting with public on public land blows my mind. I never even knew about it until a week ago. I feel like I'm so out of the loop. I, I, I seen six today, and last weekend I seen ten. So I don't know why nobody told me about this. I, I need an e-bike. I just got my ass kicked. I did 12 miles, and... I seen a lot of deer and I almost killed probably one of the biggest bucks of my life and, and I just couldn't pull it off. He pulled a Houdini on me. It was unbelievable. <sighs> I'm going to have nightmares now. But thanks for watching. It wasn't that eventful other than a few deer, but can't always kill them. Thanks. I just snuck out of the house. Don't tell my wife. I'm going to the woods. I got an hour of light left. Maybe an hour and a half if I'm lucky. See if I can stick one.
He's down, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh.